Now, Shujar's arrival back home from the Singapore Sevens, where they lifted the main cup title, does not mark a time to celebrate, but a time to build on the win ahead of the last two legs of the World Seven Series in Paris and London. The triumphant team arrived to a heroic welcome that has halted activities at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport as well as the busy Mombasa Road. Take a look. A true Shuja arrival characterized the Kenya Sevens return to the country after lifting the Singapore Sevens main cup title. Song and dance, the Kenyan way of welcoming champions. The celebrations continued. I think it's a milestone for the country, first of all. And uh, something that we won't take lightly because it's something that has happened for us first. We don't know even what to say or do. We're just excited to be here and we're glad. For us, it's, it's, fair, enough. It, it's, it's fair enough. And I think we're able to, to play. We've played all these, those, those other teams and we will be able to play them in, uh, in the coming tournament, hoping uh, things will be better. It's a reward for all of us that have sacrificed time and, and uh, sacrificed a lot in our lives. I've been with it 20 years, and uh, there's colleagues of mine who it left before they saw this, so it's, it's, it's quite, a, quite a rewarding thing. Sleek rides made their way to the airport where procession to the Old Sereni Hotel commenced. Outriders made sure Mombasa Road that is synonymous with heavy traffic was clear. <laughs> And of course, it's an arrival of Shujas back home and uh, definitely what they expected uh, all the way from the airport as they make uh, the procession. Do remember that this is not an easy feat. And uh, seated next to me is a Shuja, Oscar Ayodi, uh, who is, of course, part of the team that lifted the Singapore Sevens main cup a title. Uh, Oscar, uh, probably just uh, looking at the reception you've gotten today, uh, do you think that is that what you expected back home? Uh, it's not uh, what you expected, but uh, Kenyans have really showed us love uh, with uh, the outcome and uh, with how they've received us, and we are quite happy for for what we've achieved. And uh, we pray that uh, there are many more to come, and uh, we are praying and hoping that there will be better uh, things to come in future. Uh, but how we've been received, it's it's epic, it's phenomenal. I think. Uh, it's, uh, you, you, can't, you can't use words to express what, what, what joy you feel right now. There can only be one champion, and it is Kenya! Players are still in a celebratory mood after the Singapore Main Cup win. The first Main Cup win by the Kenya Sevens team that came 114 tournaments later. I've played with, with very good very good guys who've, who've left before they've done it. So, for, first of all, it's I mean huge honor. I mean, I give it all up back to, to, those, to those guys who've, who've played, who have played with, who've played before me, and the, and the guys who don't wear the shirt on the day to, to, to win the cup. So, it, it is a mix of feelings. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not all about the final and winning that game, and, but it's, it's it's about the process and, and what we went through just to get there. The celebrations will, however, not last long, with focus slowly shifting to the last two World Sevens legs in Paris and London next month. For now, the celebrations continue. History has been made here in Singapore. Lil Washira, KTN News.